Welcome to So Much to Talk About. We have reigning Super Bowl most valuable player, Mr. Eli Manning. Pleasure to have you on once again. Hey, glad to be here. Yes, indeed. And that smile says it all right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's feeling good. Feeling good. That's what's up, and congratulations. And a great also getting married, too, in the offseason. So talk about this entire year. Like, like is this the greatest year of your life, literally? It's, uh, it's up there. It's been, it's been a great start of uh, the Super Bowl and getting married. So um, obviously now it's all about this football season and, and trying to have a, uh, you know, a great regular season. That's all we'll get in the, in the year 2008. But uh, get through that and uh, hopefully make the playoffs and go from there. I know. How pumped up were you when you scored that Russian TD last week? I mean, the, the, I saw the stadium was just, like, shaking, you know? How pumped? Well, it was fun, especially uh, we haven't always played real well at home, especially last season. So to, to uh, on the first possession of the, of the season at home, to, to go down there and get a, a scoring drive. And, uh, you know, it's rarely that I get many rushing touchdowns. So to get in the end zone, I was, I was excited about it. To ask you too, Rob, Rob Facciano wrote a book about you know your your uh, times and stuff uh, coming up, and uh, yeah, talk about that book. Like, um, did you did you contribute a lot of information to him for that? Oh, uh, you know, I, I I've, not, I've not read the book. Uh, no, that's just uh, Ralph from from you know he's always around the stadium and doing interviews, so he just he just uh, you know wrote that on his own. But uh, so I have I haven't got around to reading it, but um, you know I hear it's good. I hear good things. I know you definitely give him a call, if so. <laughs> but um, I want to ask you too uh, about um, Coach Cutcliffe. Cutcliffe is now with Duke. Can he turn that program around? I mean, that's a project right there. Well, yeah, it's it's tough, but um, you know they're they're off to a good start. They're one and one right now. They lost a, lost a tough one last week, but uh, you know they're competing, and and I think um, you know he, he's done a good job, and and uh, hopefully I'm, I'm I'm keeping up with Duke now and keeping up with him, but. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a good coach, and I think he'll, he'll give him a good shot of winning. That's great. And I wanted to talk with you about Ernie Acorsi and the Giants uh, front office having the faith to trade up for you. And, and I felt that was a great choice because, you know, with you in Mississippi, the numbers you put up were great. Talk about, like, how gratifying is it now that it culminated to you leading the Giants to the championship? Well, well I thank Ernie. I thank the, the Giants staff for just giving me a shot and, and uh, you know, keep keeping the faith in me and, and uh, knowing that, um, you know, they're patient with me. You know, it takes time, but um, you know, I think, I think Ernie, uh, he saw something and, and uh, he had faith that I could, I could lead this team to wins. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's been great being in New York and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. More question, uh, who's going to win more Super Bowl titles, you or Peyton? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So where's your not going? Yeah, man, we're just trying to keep it in the family. So. Hey, that's what's about. Yeah. Eli, thank you for your time. Thank hey, you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, so much Appreciate it.